In a wide valley between Westminster, Maryland and Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, lies the Union Mills homestead. Big Pipe Creek, at the center of the valley, provides a plentiful source of water to power the site's grist mill. Visitors to Union Mills enjoy the sights and sounds of grains being ground into flour or cornmeal, just as in generations gone by. Union Mills, as the name suggests, is a grist mill. But we are so lucky to have this wonderful old mill to tell the Union Mills story. But Union Mills is so much more. When Andrew and David Shriver founded Union Mills back in 1797, they included a variety of other industries, including a tannery. Our challenge is how to tell the tannery story when so little of the tannery remains. In 2018, the Union Mills Homestead identified the need for a more comprehensive review of cultural resources related to the site, with a focus on the Shriver Tannery. After a grant award from the Maryland Heritage Areas Authority that year, the Union Mills Homestead commenced a Phase 1A archaeological assessment and a historic resources study. And in 2020, Union Mills launched an archaeological investigation directed to the tannery. Grant funds from the heart of the Civil War Heritage Area were critical to the project. The Heart of the Civil War Heritage Area mini-grant program exists to help fund non-capital projects in the Heritage Area. And so it helps work on um, tourism product development. It helps organizations pursue non-capital projects like this archaeology here at Union Mills Homestead so they can then develop new visitor experiences and tell new stories at their sites. With grant funds in hand and the generous support of our members, archaeology commenced in October 2021. The investigation focused on the site of the tannery at Union Mills, where generations of the Shriver family turned animal hides into quality leather. We're conducting an archaeological um, testing um, today in this site, at the site. Uh, the suspected or purported site of the tannery here at Union Mills. Uh, specifically, we're looking for the physical evidence of the tannery through uh, the excavation of a unit. Um, we, a couple months ago, started the process with very detailed historical research, uh, part of a larger project to uh, complete a historic uh, resource study for all of Union Mills, the entire cultural landscape that includes the buildings uh, as well as the, um, you know, all of the outbuildings, including the house, um, everything that we see here at Union Mills and, and in the whole property. And part of that was to identify uh, the location of resources that are no longer standing, that are no longer visible on the surface of the ground. And one of those, and really probably the most important of those, is the tannery. Um, so we began with a ground penetrating radar survey, and that survey um, was conducted in order to try to pinpoint where the vats of the tannery might be if they were still hidden under the ground. And after uh, that uh, ground penetrating radar survey was was completed and analyzed we were able to specifically locate um, areas that could then be excavated to basically ground truth if you will um, the location of the resources um, hidden under the ground when you look at the ground you can't see any evidence of the tannery now so it's a complete mystery um, or it would be a complete mystery as to where the tannery actually stood, except that we have the evidence from the ground penetrating radar. And now today uh, we're uh, seeking and actually getting uh, direct evidence of the location um, of the tannery. We are looking uh, for tanning vets here and specifically we're looking for the delineation between the interior and the exterior of the vat. Right now what we've exposed is a kind of inside and outside as, as we're believing it is right now. And one of the interesting things that helped us in that decision is over here in the northeast corner, we were able to find a patch of relatively clean soil and sink a probe down in, a soil probe down in, which is a half inch in diameter. And uh, 
roughly a meter down from our surface, we discovered a very rich organic wet layer, uh, which is about 20 centimeters thick. So from 80 centimeters to about a meter down from surface, we have rich organic materials. And at the very bottom, we have a concentration of preserved animal hair, which we believe to be the bottom of the vat. Thanks to this investigation, the Union Mills Homestead has now located one of the original tanning vats from the Shriver Tannery. The project also has confirmed the existence of important underground resources from this long lost industry. Grant funding from the heart of the Civil War heritage area is critical for a small organization like the Union Mills Homestead to better tell its story and to provide more comprehensive and relevant visitor experiences.